but we've got a great dish for you. We've got a rangatiki chicken. We're going to break it down into nice big chunky pieces, and then we're going to marinate it in this nice jerk spice. So full of uh, flavor here. We've got chilies in there, and lots of sweet spices like all spices and cloves and coriander seeds. So it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And then we're going to roast it in the oven and finish it off in our griddle pan. But this is a perfect recipe for the barbecue as well. And we're going to serve some nice toasted corn with some chili and parmesan on the side. It's going to be great. That's jerk chicken this morning, Mark. We're using rangatiki free-range corn-fed chicken. It's a happy chicken. It's going to taste a lot nicer. It's going to taste better when you start getting these spices going. What do we have to do? Right, so we're going to make the, uh, the jerk uh, marinade first. So yep. It's a spice mix. Mm -hmm. Right, so I've got some black pepper corns, coriander seeds, and we're going to toast them in the pan to bring out all their flavours. OK, how long do you need to toast them for? Oh, a couple of minutes. OK. You know, some nice heat. Keep it keep it shaking around so you get this nice... Uh, you get, get, get a bit of colour on there, you know, really bring those spices out. We've got some, some cloves, cloves in there. Yeah. Cloves in there as well and cinnamon. So lots of sweet spices going Yum. in there as well. OK. Um, so we're just going to toast this and then we're just going to grind it in our uh, mortar and pestle. OK. We've got some allspice as well, so that's already ground, so I'm just going to put that straight in. And I've got some nutmeg as well, which we're just going to uh, microplane in. Microplane? Mmm. -hmm. Fancy. You've got to watch your fingers on these because they're really sharp, but they're absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Nice fine. Uh, and then we're going to break the chicken down, so we're going to get it into nice uh, eight nice pieces. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Good. just a sec. You can be in charge of the spices. I can smell these. Yep. So you can already amazing. start smelling it now, so keep yep. going. You know, get it nice and even, and and don't be afraid to get some colour on there. Okay. You know, this dish is all about you know it's a big punch of flavour in here. We've got lots of chilli in there. We've got lots of these sweet spices. Um, ideal on a barbecue, you know, so you're getting those really sort of charred spices and nice um, um, charcoal flavour from the coals and stuff and the fire. Is that know? where the jerk part comes from? The, the spices? The, the spice mix, right. yeah. Okay. Right, so you get the nutmeg in there, the allspice, and then we're toasting these spices. Right, for the chicken... Break it down. So do you know, you know how to do this, Mike? Well, you've showed me once before. That was a while ago. Do you ago. want to do it? No, no, I'll watch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. just eat it later. <laughs> right, so you've got, the, you've got the chicken. Yep. Get rid of your excess... Um, Extra skin on there if you want. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to use the whole chicken. Uh, so break it down. So the easiest thing is just to sort of stretch all the uh, skin over the chicken and then just make a nice incision down there. Right. Pull the leg out and then just pop, pop the uh, bone out there. That's right. And then you can just go round and cut through or just under the bone. You know, and then you've got your you've got your leg off. Nice. And then all you do is just go through here. And then you get your drumstick. You make it thigh. look so easy, Mark. It is, it is. And then so basically it's the exact same on the other side. So just do it on the other side. Take that off, cut it down. So you've got your you got your two pieces here. And then now you want the breast. So I'm gonna leave the, the legs uh, the wings on. Yep. And then you've got a backbone running down the centre. So all you want to do is cut down the side of the backbone. Right. All the way down to the uh, rib cage. Yep. And then you've got a little chicken fillet on the on there as well, so we'll keep that on. Yep. Using the tip of your knife, just follow it around. Cool. And then go down, go out through that bone, so it leaves the wing on. I guess you need a good sharp knife, don't yep. you? So you can crunch through the bone. And then you've got the breast off with the bone on. And then I'm going to leave the wing on, and I'm just going to cut it there. So we've got two nice pieces there. Look at that. Repeat that on that side. So spices, so you can smell them. Got a bit of yeah. colour on them. Bang them in there and you can start grinding them down. Okay, nice. And then all we do, nice powder, and then we're going to coat the chicken in this powder, and then you want to let it marinate. So, a couple of hours minimum, you know, yep. it's all about flavour, this dish. Even better overnight, so pop it in the fridge 24 hours. Um, so, it's a little bit of, um, you know, prep work in this dish to get the uh, best effect. Well, it's going to be worth it though, isn't it? Oh, it definitely. It smells definitely. incredible already. So I'm going to pop it in there and then the rest of the spices obviously over the chicken and then just rub it around and make sure all the chicken's coated, evenly coated and it'll just be full of flavour. A little bit of uh, salt and pepper as well at this stage. Okay. <laughs> and then just let it marinate. <laughs> It's a good tip for you now. You can do it in a spice blender or a coffee uh, grinder. OK, well, now you tell me. It's yeah. all right. But it's more fun than a pestle yeah, and water, so keep going. Well, it feels <laughs> more worth it when you eat the chicken, doesn't oh, it? Oh, definitely, definitely. And as you pound it, you know, you're getting these beautiful aromas as well. Oh, so. And I can smell yeah. it. It's sensational. By the way, if you want the recipe to any of these, just go to thecafe.co.nz. Yesterday's recipe, tomorrow's recipe, it's all there. And you can make it at home. Post it on Facebook. Let us know, by the way. Yum. OK, cool. So whereabouts are we up to there, Mark? Right. So I got some chicken, so I marinated this a couple of hours ago, so yep. this is what it looks like. And then all you want to do is, if you're not going to use the barbecue, pop it onto a tray 
a little bit of oil, yep. and then into a nice hot oven for about half an hour. So you cook the chicken. Okay. And cool. then we're going to finish it off on the griddle, just to get that nice sort of charred colour. Nice. Okay. All the spices you do it, have combined. This is smelling incredible. Yeah, if you do it on the barbecue, you can, you, you know, you start don't need it from to bake the, it. Right. No, no, start okay, it from cool. the beginning of the barbecue. So we've got this chicken here. So this has been baked. Right. So, tiny bit of oil in the uh, griddle, nice hot griddle, and then you can carefully pop that on and just get some nice colour, especially on that uh, skin side as well. That's starting to go crispy. Okay. Got all those spices, but you want you want those nice sort of like charred marks. I just want to okay? eat it now. So don't be don't be scared to burn it. Okay, cool. But don't burn it. Okay. So, um, do you know what I mean? Like, don't, do, don't do too much. A little bit's right. good. Right. So we're going to get a little bit of corn to serve on the side. So we've got this nice corn on the cob. Just a little bit of oil, not too much, and it's going to give it a light seasoning. And then got another hot griddle pan. Yep. And then we're going to start popping it on there, and you want to start getting some colour on there as well. So it's all about the colour. Big, strong flavours there. And then as that's cooking, we're going to finish that with some chilli and some uh, butter and a little bit of lime zest and uh, some nice. chilli as well. This is going to be a sensational dish. OK, so I'll keep an eye on the chicken, watch the corn, and you get the right. into the sauce. And then we've got, we've got a sauce here, so a really quick sauce. So I've got some onions I've just peeled. I'm going to put that in a blender. Got some garlic as well in there, and a little bit of spring onion. Just going to roughly chop, and then get that into the blender as well. And then we've got some soy sauce, so that's going to be the base of the uh, quick sauce. OK. Um, and then some sugar in there, some lime juice, and some chilli. So it is, is Jamaican and it is hot, spicy, full of flavours, and the heat is in there. So I've, got a, I've just got some normal fresh chilli. Yep. Uh, so just cut that in half, leave the seeds in because it is about spiciness. Oh, yeah, and uh, I've got this nice dry uh, habanero chilli. So you can use any chilies you want uh, in this recipe. I think in the recipe it's uh, Scotch bonnets. So they're, they're sort of small, fresh, red, very spicy chilies. Um, so put as much chilli in or different types of chilli in as you can taste. Are you getting worried? Yeah, I am getting worried. <laughs> but it's all right. It's only small. No, but I mean, you know, chicken. <laughs> chicken is not. I like chicken, but, you know, there's so many different ways to do it. So spice it up, so to speak. Oh, yeah, definitely. And there's, there's a lot of spice in here. You know, this is a great, great recipe, great summer recipe, actually, for the barbecue, because you can do everything on the barbecue, you know? And when it comes to our chicken, what's this? Is it you need a bit more? Yeah, no, we can go more. Oh, we can, can go, go more. more. So okay, really get cool. a really deep flavour. Uh, deep colour, really bring out that flavour. So that's lime juice going in there, and a little bit of fresh thyme as well into this sauce. Okay, good. And then all we're going to do blend is give it a good blend. And then what we're going to do, as we're cooking the chicken as well, we can brush the sauce over the chicken to glaze oh, it yeah, as nice. well. Okay, cool. Yum, yum! Oh, that's nice and fast. Yeah, so there's the sauce, so really easy. So as the chicken's cooking, we're just going to brush it over, and then we're going to serve this sauce on the side as well. OK. okay yeah, she's that. cranking along nicely here. Because you've got the soy on there, it's going to season it. You've got the sugar in there, it's going to caramelise around. So just sort of do this towards the end of the cooking. Look at that. Smell that. Oh, smells incredible. OK, just check the corn and give it a bit of a turn. Do you want those little burn marks on it? Yeah, yeah, so, we, so you get that amount of burn marks sort of like on all the sides and it's just going to be great. OK, And then cool. we'll, we'll spread some butter over it, we'll put some chilli over it and then just last minute some Parmesan cheese, it'll just melt over the top. Absolutely fantastic. It's gorgeous. <laughs> OK, now uh, Mark's here with this chicken. It smells incredible. Yeah, look at that. Good work.